Hey guys, it's Jai and I'm going to be showing you the most effective way, in my opinion, to get your DAW to be outputted to Skype or TeamSpeak. So in order to do this, you're going to want to install virtual audio cables. The, the link to that is in the description. Then you're going to want to right click on your uh, volume icon and go to sounds. Now at your sounds panel, you're going to want to go to playback and you're going to see a uh, virtual audio cable called line one. And you're gonna want to go to the properties, and you're gonna want to change that to to uh, virtual audio cable or VAC. And then in advance, you're gonna want to uncheck allow applications to exclusive control because you might be using multiple applications to control it. Then you want to go to recording, and you're gonna find another thing called line one, and you will want to change the name of that as well. So in our case, I already changed it, but it's going to be called line one in here. You're going to want to change the virtual audio cable so you don't get confused. Then in your levels, you're going to want to make sure it's at 100. So you're replicating the exact sound that you hear. And in advanced, make sure applications can't take con uh, exclusive control. And now for the final feature, which is to monitor yourself, you're going to want to listen to the device uh, if you want to hear your own voice. If you don't want to hear your own voice, do not check this. So let's press OK because I want to hear my own voice to monitor. Um, and finally, the last step is a pretty good idea. Uh, in my case, I can't do it because I already set uh, it as my default. But you're going to want to right click on line one or virtual auto cable and set it as default device and default communication device. Um, that way in Skype, Call of Duty, any game or any application, it will automatically choose this virtual audio cable as your default output device okay so now let's go into our DAW in my case I'm using Ableton Live Lite 9 and you're gonna wanna go to options preferences and at least in this uh, application and you're gonna select your normal input as the input device which in my case is my microphone then you're gonna wanna select your output device which is going to be your virtual audio cable here and again, uh, both have to be in DX, if you're confused in that. And then your uh, sample rate, which for my case is 96 kilohertz. Okay, so now in here, you're going to be able to have and hear yourself um, through the output. I'm not. I'm going to put actually it on for a couple seconds, just so you guys can hear. I'm going to turn on my monitor input. Hello. Hello. Now you can, now hear, you myself can hear myself twice. twice. I'm going to turn, gonna this, turn off. this off. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off because it does get annoying to hear myself twice. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to play some sounds through the uh, virtual audio cable through my DAW. And you guys are going to be able to hear it because I'm listening to it in my Windows preferences in the system sounds. Remember over here. I have it set to listen to this device so I can monitor myself. <laughs> so in my case, I'm going to go, let's do... Hmm. Let's do some clips. Yeah, sure, Congos, that's good. So let's play some Congos. And again, we can do all of our mixing, anything in here, and we can even use plugins. I will show you guys some plugins. Let's go to Reverb. Let's add some uh, Reverb here. Let's do Long Canyon. Turn the reverb off. So just like that, you have your voice output and your um, your 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 audio output. So you can play songs in full quality through your microphone without even having to use stereo mix. Stereo mix again isn't that high quality, and it's really it's just a pain to set up, and you, can't, you don't have any control over it. With this, you have full control. You can play extremely high quality songs through your output. You can play um, different beats. You can uh, mix. You can do effects on your voice. You can do anything through your DAW and have it output to Skype or whatever. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to show you guys just an example. Let's go to Audacity. And let's change our... Uh, that's our output. Let's change our input to Virtual Audio Cable. And now we're going to be able to record... Audacity. So if you see, 
when I'm recording, it's not recording anything yet. Um, if I play something through my uh, virtual audio cable, so again, I'll just play that, uh, the Congos. As you can see, a nice clear signal is coming through Audacity, and it's very nice. So I'm going to stop the recording on the audio track, and I'll play it through here. You guys are going to be able to hear the Congos again coming out of Audacity. So that's enough of that. So as you can see, it works great. It's very lovely. Um, and just for a final show, I will uh, get rid of this track. And I will record myself again twice in here. So this time I'm going to disable my sound so it doesn't bother you guys. My monitoring on the uh, virtual audio cable. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now we can play this without annoying you guys. I'm going to turn on my input. So you guys should not be able to hear that when I'm talking now. But as you can see, the levels in here indicate that it can hear my voice. Now I'm going to record, and you guys should be able to hear my voice, and I'll play Congos through the middle. Blah, 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 blah. And now I'm going to record the Congos with it. And I don't hear the Congos, but I believe my voice is overlapping with them. I'm going to turn the Congos off. And now it should be just my voice. And I'm going to play this for you guys again over Audacity, outputting into my speakers. Blah, 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 blah. And now I'm going to record the Congos with it. And I don't hear the Congos, but I believe my voice is overlapping with them. I'm going to turn the Congos off. And now it should be just my voice. And I'm going to play this for you guys again over Audacity, outputting into my speakers. So as you guys can see, very easy to use. I believe this is the most efficient and easiest to set up um, virtual audio cable solution that you can possibly imagine. Very easy to set up, no configuration, nothing confusing here. It's just you need to be familiar with your DAW, set up your DAW correctly. You're going to be able to use all the features of your DAW to output to Skype, TeamSpeak, or whatever with actually not too bad latency. A couple hundred milliseconds is pretty much all you're going to get on a regular PC. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, remember to like if you liked the video. And remember to comment if you have any questions or you just want to say something to me. So thank you guys and uh, see you.